Hi guys, welcome to my new series of Deathless Boss Fights and I'm starting with Act 1 and it's Radriar and he's level 340,000. So here's my build that I used and I had a lot of Titan Break gems but I didn't use Nullify and that's why it's a longer fight than it could have been. <laughs> but I wanted to have a proper fight with him. And also I'm mastering my equipment so it was all unmastered apart from the shield. So this Beretta dual weapon was actually quite good with the bonus combos and although at the beginning <laughs> I had trouble getting them going, once I got it going you'll see there's actually a benefit using the Beretta and that's because I didn't have any bonus combo minus one gems equipped however I was able to get a bonus combo every third hit instead of every fifth and that's because of the arrow directions and if you swipe diagonally down left twice and then straight down and keep repeating that you'll get a bonus combo every third hit with the Beretta even though you haven't got a bonus combo minus one gem equipped so you know you can equip other Titan Break gems for a longer attack break and you'll get a lot of bonus combo hits and that's helpful because they are three times attack so they're the best type of combo if you can get them and it works because diagonal swipes are counted as horizontal for the bonus combo arrows and that's why swiping diagonally down left will replace those horizontal arrows anyway so that's how to get a lot of bonus combos with the Beretta and it definitely helped with my fight against Radiar. And he is high level, but I've got two maximum dark fires equipped and a maximum attack gem. And although I didn't use Nullify, you'll still get 10% of your dark fire damage without using Nullify. So it was still a pretty good attack. And I did crack his step backs by dodging and I refreshed my memory with my step back video for Radial's heavy step backs and I've put a link to that in the description under this video. If you go for dodge breaks which you'll get if you crack the step backs with a dodge then you'll get a longer attack break window and even longer if you equip lots of Titan break gems and the Titan Break 2 gems, the hexagon ones, and the ones as well, if they're hexagon, stack. So however many you put in will be effective. With the triangle Titan Break gems, they only stack up to two. So more than two, and you won't have any extra effect from that. And this actually wasn't a perfect fight. <laughs> There is a nail-biting moment. I wasn't sure that I was going to get through it. But uh, you'll see how it turns out in the end. And so with this new series, my idea is to go through the whole deathless mode and with my high-level character and beat all the bosses and show that happening. And where I can, I'll try not to use Nullify and that will make it a more interesting fight. And you'll see I did get hit once there with Radia, and when he hits me, it does take off all my health. So I can't make any more mistakes now. <laughs> this is my 59th Deathless Mode playthrough, and with the next playthrough, 60, I will be able to upgrade my gear higher. And that's the main reason I'm playing Deathless Mode because that's the way you can upgrade your gear. And I do get asked a lot, how do you upgrade past level 10? And you have to you play Deathless Mode to upgrade. And once you've played it once, you can upgrade to level 15. And then every five times that you play Deathless Mode, 
you can upgrade another five levels. But you have to do the whole playthrough and beat the worker, and that's counted as one. So at this point, after my playthrough 60, I'll be able to upgrade my gear to level 75, as it's level 70 at the moment. And the other advantage of Deathless Mode is that once you complete any of the playthroughs, then the gems that you have fusing will immediately finish, and so will your gear that's in the forge. So that's a really good advantage of Deathless Mode. You get instant fused and forged gear. So I always put some high level gems in before I play Deathless Mode and that takes off all the time and so I was successful and Radria was down the first boss in my new Deathless Bosses Down series so stay tuned for more Deathless Boss Fights thanks for watching Tamil Channel your favorite channel for Infinity Blade if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages Thanks, see you next time.